We're going to pray now. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Father, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, very happy to be here with this very special occasion where two shall become one, and we're very, very thankful that they chose to receive their blessing in the house of their Heavenly Father. And so together with all those who are here this evening, we want to be able to rejoice. We know, Father, that a special word shall be provided for them in their wedding blessing because they seek the Father's blessing, and that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. We know that our evangelist, he promised to remember us in this evening's hour, along with the evangelist who's directed here, and all the men of God to go before us. We seek the oneness with the apostles' ministry. And everybody who comes tonight hopefully shall be touched in their soul that it wasn't just the wedding couple that was spoken to, but everybody was spoken to who has a husband or a wife, because we all can learn as time goes on how we all can do it better, how we can make adjustments, that how we can be happier in our life. And so bless this couple this evening with joy and happiness. Let us be able to experience a trip into the kingdom of heaven. And when we leave here, let us be able to leave here with a very, very special song in our soul. And all these things we ask in thy son's name. Amen. Amen. So you can be seated. We have greetings from our apostle to all of you. And you all can be seated. By the way, I have to say, you're a beautiful wedding party. Okay? We've got a beautiful bride here. We've got beautiful bridesmaids. And you fellas don't look too bad either. I like the color combinations. Okay? You know my favorite color is green. Still, we're very happy that you look great. Anyway, for this, this service, we have a special text word for you. You know where that text word came from? from our gathering last night. I, I prayed for it, that God would give us something special. But I didn't want to do anything until I met the two of you that we could talk last night. And because of what we said together, and because of that beautiful hymn that you chose as your wedding hymn, that's where your wedding text comes from, okay? I promise you we're not going to leave 14 chapters to you. It's very short, but very, very much to the point. So, it comes out of the 50th Psalm, and we shall read the 14th and the 15th verses to you. It says here, Offer to God thanksgiving, and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you shall also glorify me. That's your text word, okay? And we'll explain it. But with the choir has a wonderful, beautiful song, which we'd like to ask them to sing at this time. And...
is one of thankfulness. And why did I do that? Because I don't, I don't know how many times you all, either one of you or all of you said to me, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. You're not thanking me. You're thanking your Heavenly Father. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And so it says, offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. The vow you make today is to each other, maybe a hundred witnesses, but the most important thing is for Heavenly Father. He has big ears, big spiritual ears, and he hears everything, and he sees everything. And the most important thing is he knows what the two of you promised each other, and you also promised him too. Now, how you go about fulfilling that, that's up to you. But if you always come to your Heavenly Father with thanksgiving, notice the song you said, praise him, right? The whole, this was not a way we're going to put people to sleep tonight, but rather, this is a lot of spirit here. Thankfulness, praise, this is what you wanted. This is also what's going to apply. Paul could take our thanksgiving. Be thankful for each other. You know, she's a special gift. Many years ago, when I had the privilege to serve as the youth, two things. So you come from a special family, and then you also come from a special church that also considers you part of the family. That's what makes us. And you're also special too. I don't know exactly as well as I know some lines, but I know you.